We're now going to look at closing balances, closing off ledgers, and also how ledgers should look. In previous videos, I've just had monetary values in the ledgers. I've now made the ledgers the way they should look, um, with a date of the transaction and some details. For example, when money's coming out the bank for electric, it's in the description or details as electric 45 then that's posted in the electricity account I've put the details bank the money's come from the bank same date and same value so you'll, you'll want to close off your accounts um, at the end of a period um, for like your year end as you've come to the end of your financial year but also at the end of your month if you want to do monthly profit and loss statements or monthly management reports you'll need to close off your accounts to see what the closing balance is and this video is going to be dedicated to doing that so we have our bank account here we on the 1st of October we have a brought forth brought forward balance of 100 pounds so that would have been the closing balance from September so our account started with 100 pounds we had a number of sales in the month um, we paid out for electric rent and some goods for resale which is in the account down here now the way we close off an account is first of all is we find out which side has a higher value in the debit side or the credit side we can quite easily tell that there is more value on the debit side the amount of transactions doesn't matter it's the amount of value there's £1,090 worth of value that side and 495 when we've worked out what side has the highest value we total that value, so this side it's 1090, so 1090, and we put that amount on both sides. The debit and credit side, let's put a border on, and then you'd have the end of the month or end, end of the period date, and you would put something along the lines of balance carried forward and that would be this total minus the amount the smaller amount on the opposite side so 495 so 1090 minus 495 equals 595 so our carried forward figures 595 so for our November accounts we'll have 01 11 2013 opening balance or balance brought forward 595 let's look at some more accounts there's more value on this side than on the debit side so 890 on both sides like so put a border in and then we take off the opposite side the lower value of the two, so 890 minus 0 is 890 and this time our balance carried forward is on the right side as the credit side had more. If we go back to our bank account, if we delete what we did and let's say we had another purchase near the end of the month and it was 900 pounds once again see which side is the highest so that's the end of the month now we have 1090 on debit 1395 1395 on the credit so the credit side has more so let's enter that in 1395 1395 minus the smaller amount which is 1090 So 1395 minus 1090 is 305 and this time it goes on the credit side because the credit, it's a credit balance we're bringing forward. The bank is in a negative value. Hopefully this has made sense. If not, please just keep, you know, just watch the video again. Thank you so much for watching.